Hello, this is Mike Lever, and we're back from our cropping, and everyone has successfully, or at least under, successfully understands cropping for Photoshop. And what we're going to do right now is just cover a few things we didn't cover last time. That's creating a basic tween, the difference between a movie clip, a button, and a graphic. So let's take a look at that right now. Let's go to File, New, and Flash, and let's create uh, a simple animation. So we'll get our advertising. We'll just go back to General and hit Action Script. We have a nice little screen here, and we actually want to create an animation. So first thing we want to do is what? create a symbol to animate. Now, I have two options. I can actually just drag something out there and I can actually turn it into a movie clip, a, a button, or a graphic. Or I can just let Flash itself turn it into that for me. So I'm going to show you how you do that. Uh, first of all, you can name this layer. We'll just call this ball. We'll animate a ball. So let's just come along here and do a little uh, drawing. And I'll come out here and grab a circular oval. And I'll hold that down and I'll draw a ball. Well, that's not a ball, is it? That's a square. Let's try it again. Make sure I'm on the frame, and let's draw the ball. Ta-da! There's my ball. Uh, the problem is, why didn't I see a ball? Because the ball I drew was what? White. All right, so let's choose another color. <laughs> that was dumb, wasn't it? OK, so come down here. Click on your fill tool right here, and choose another color. And we can make it a red ball if we want. There we go. And if you don't like that, make it something else. Notice there's no outline right here on the ball because the outline right here is what? It's out. That slash line means none. So if I click that, then I can get rid of that and I can actually draw an outline next time I do that. Or I can actually draw no, no inside. So once again, a, a, a shape is of two parts, an outline and an inner, right? Or a fill. So I have that now and I actually want to create an animation. So what I can do is I can actually right click on that and go create tween motion. Now Flash knows immediately that this is not a movie clip. So I can get out of this, go back and turn it into a movie clip and animate, because it's got to be something like that to animate. It has to be wrapped in the animation uh, skin. Or I can just hit OK, and Flash will automatically create an animation for me. Now notice up here, it's already given me an extension of a timeline. But I haven't done any animation yet. Now in the old Flash, what you had to do is create the first uh, keyframe, then the second keyframe, and then animate in between. But in the new Flash, all you have to do is just move it. Or change it, or change some property, and it'll automatically animate for you. Isn't that cool? So just right-click, hit animate, and boom, it's animated. Now at this point, uh, I can move this around if I want to, right? Or I can curve it if I want to. You've seen that already in the previous video. But another cool thing I can do, if this animation is not long enough for me, I can grab it right here, and I can stretch it out to longer frames. Or make it smaller. Now, I can have several animations running, okay, and so I can actually add another layer. So let's do that and create another animation. So let's see here, bring this down just a little bit. It's in the way. Let's create another animation. And uh, what do you want to put on top of this? Anything? I don't know. Let's put a square. All right, good. So I don't have anything in that particular animation uh, right there, so I'm going to go ahead and put a square. So let's go ahead and just draw a square. And I'll put a square right here. And once again, this square is not what? A movie clip. Now at this point, I can come here and I go to Window. At this point, I can just hit F8. Ta-da! Create animation. And I'll just call this Box. And I can choose Movie Clip. I can choose Button. Or I can choose Graphic. Now a button actually is has four states to it. And it'll show you the press and release. And we're going to do that later on. So we won't go there. I could create a, could animate a graphic or a movie clip. I'll choose, I'll choose a movie clip, which means I could animate underneath that as well. Here's my movie clip. At this point, you can see I've got it in my initial frame. We can go to my last frame right here. And, and it's not tweened, so I can actually come along here. Now I moved it, and it's not tweened. So what I want to do, I want to right-click now, because I didn't, I didn't do anything with it, and hit Create Tween. As soon as I did that, it actually has created a tween. I can drag that now. That tween uh, keyframe was created. You saw when I dragged it, right? And now I have a little animation. So I have two animations running at the same time. So let's run these animations. And uh, control test movie. Control enter. There you go. Control enter. And there you go. Two animations running at the same time. And you know, this is a very simple example. But they, people really stack animations on top of animations. And one of the coolest places you want to go is monsterwebsites.com, and you'll see a great example of many animations being set on top of each other. We're going to actually do that right now. I'm going to have you play around with this animation, make some animations for me. And then we're going to visit uh, monsterwebsites.com and show you how powerful this is when it comes to creating great websites. And we're going to show you how you can actually create and market your own websites using a site like monster.com. So let's take a break and get to it.
Spanish.